Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 140. much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista and this is my secret yarnery. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. There is a new tutorial every Sunday with a written pattern, both left and right handed. And there is also a podcast every Wednesday just like this and a live chat on Fridays, plus a lot of crochet goodness throughout the week. So if any of that is of interest to you, hit this subscribe button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Today I'm going to share with you my latest finished object, some changes to the channel, and also an update on how fabulous my husband's 50th birthday was. Yes, that was this last weekend, so I'll be sharing a little bit about that with you also. But before I get started, I want to give a big congratulations to the winner from last week's podcast. Congratulations to Crojo Corner. Congratulations, Crojo. She answered last week's question. For my 50th, my husband and I went to Columbus, Ohio and bar hopped for three days. Won't be doing that again. Too old. That is hilarious. I can't imagine. That is so fabulous. So thank you so much. Send me an email, Krista at secretyarnery.com, and I will send you a copy of my latest pattern. And if you want to win a free pattern, just keep watching and I'll tell you how to do it. And now it's time for Finished Object. Yes, it is singular this week. It is the glorious at that. So cool, right? It is the realistic crochet grass. Isn't that so neat? So it is eyelash yarn. You can use any eyelash yarn. You don't have to sew in your tail because you're putting it in a plant pot. Now you can sew in your tail if you feel like it. Nope, I don't feel like it. So I just tuck my tail right underneath my grass and pop all of that just on top of my floral foam. I know it's a cheat. And then I just put my little square of grass on top and you can poke your flowers straight into it just through those stitches through the yarn and it looks just so fabulous and you don't have to fuss with making leaves to go with your flowers or all this extra embellishment. You just get to make little flowers and pop it straight through your grass into your planter pot. Now the trick for this is you don't turn your work. Shh. I always turn my work but for this pattern no I do not. So that gives you one side that is fuzzier than the other side. It keeps kind of all of the eyelash yarn on one side of the square. And you can even, you can feel the difference with your hand. So one side you can feel the stitches, you know, where they're all kind of joining together, and the other side just feels really fuzzy. So that is the fuzzy side with the extra fluff. And this is the side I worked into you. So you can almost see those clusters, right? Whereas on the other side, you can't see the clusters as easily, for sure. So definitely don't be turning your work when working with eyelash yarn and you will have a fabulous side that is extra fluffy. So that is already a written pattern and tutorial. So a written pattern on my website, secretyarnery.com. And tutorials, both right and left-handed, are already available. So go ahead and check those out. And if I forget to put links for these things, just go ahead and do a Google search secret yarnery plus what you're looking for. So secret yarnery, realistic grass, left-handed or right-handed. If, you if, if you're right-handed, you don't have to put right-handed, but if you're left-handed, definitely add it, and that will pop up the left-handed tutorial. And now I just wanna take a quick sec and thank all of our family members. These are in alphabetical order. So I wanna say a big thank you to Anthony Crochet Spotter, Brittany, Caroline, Carrie, Kathy, Christine, Sindra, Claire, Craft Lab, Donna, Friendly Crochet Creations, Jenny Cole, Carrie the Yarny Elephant, Kim, Chris Loves Crochet, 
Laura, Leslie, Lindsay, Lori, Lynn, Lynette, Mama Hodge, Crochet and Crafts, Martha, Roberta, Rose, Ryan does things, Stephen, Susie, Tracy, Valerie, and Yolanda, the crochet addict. Thank you so much for helping me make more videos. And now, crochet with me. That was so fun, right? Don't start me, I'll be telling you all about that glorious bed a little later on. Can you guess what show that was and what I was working on? Let me know in the comments under this video. And now it's time for upcoming live events. Our next upcoming live event is the Friday live chat. There was not one last weekend. It was my husband's birthday, but there will be one this Friday, and I am so looking forward to it. I feel like I've missed out, like I don't know what's going on. I really want to hear everything you're working on, what you're sipping on, what food you're eating. I want to hear all of it. So that is our hook yarn and dish, and that will be on Friday, 5 p.m. in Nairobi. You're welcome to join us. And after that, we are having an after party. We have not had an after party for a while, right? So after parties are a little place we can go after the Friday live chat. So we pop over to my other channel, TSY After Party. So the Secret Yarnery After Party, but it's just TSY After Party. And over there, I can show you a lot of like little small things around Kenya that don't totally fit in with crochet and the crochet niche. So this week, I am going to share with you how cool was that just walking around my yard so check out the tsy after party and you can watch the whole video we get to watch it together so it's like a premiere we get to chat with each other and everything like that so i hope to see you over there on friday would you like to win a free pattern all you have to do is have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. Yes, you have to be a subscriber of the channel and you also have to answer question of the week. Question of the week is, what is the most difficult thing you crocheted? Now, you don't have to have finished it, but what was the most difficult thing you crocheted? For me, it would be Sedai, that is my lion head. Now crocheting the lion head was not that difficult. It was more how the book was written. I don't wanna say anything bad about the book. It's a lovely book. It was the layout of the book, not how it was written, it was the layout. So what I didn't like about the layout is I kind of went to, like, you know, the mentality or the thought process of saving paper, which I totally understand. It's good for the environment and all that. However, when I am working on something, I would just like the instructions to be as many pages as they need to be for me to know what I need to do. So I don't like bouncing from making a duck head to making a lion head to doing the foot of a giraffe, going back to doing something else or an ear from a mouse and a paw from an elephant. Like, I just want you to tell me all the instructions for making the lion head in page order. Just, I want to flip through and be like, okay, good, I'm done. Jumping from page to page, it was just that little bit of added 
it wasn't difficult, but I guess the added frustration of just not being able to follow through, like I don't want to flip pages. That was the thing. Let me just, um, that's how lazy I am. So if you are making any pattern like that, or you have the same kind of struggle that I had, what to do, you photocopy each of the pages that the pattern is on, and then you literally cut and paste it together so that you have your three or four pages of a pattern in one spot, and you can just go through and make your design without wondering if you have to go and find the swan. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so for me, that made it a lot easier, but that was definitely the most difficult, I guess, was it stressful? Was it tedious? Something like that. That was the most difficult thing I made. Would I make it again? No, but I would make the zebra. I imagine like a rainbow zebra, white and rainbow zebra, I think would be so cute. But I also think I'm just gonna wait until I feel my amigurumi skills are up to par and then I'm just gonna make my own. I'm not gonna follow a pattern. I'm just gonna be like, this is my pattern. And then hopefully I'll be filming it at the same time so that I can put that out for you. Now, do not be thinking that this is happening right away because it is not. Let's put it on like the five year plan. Like, where are you gonna be in five years? I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna be making a rainbow zebra head. Yeah, that's me, okay? So not now, not next year. When is that? Five years from 2023, so 2028. Call me then. Hmm? You're like, hey, I remember about the zebra head. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about it. Let me know what your most difficult project was in the comments under this video and I'll be picking a subscriber who answers the question to win a free pattern in an upcoming podcast. And now it's time for News of the Week. Finally, I feel like I have news for you. So much fun, so much fun. So Friday was my husband's 50th birthday, the big 5-0. So we had so much fun, went pickleballing. There is a brand new pickleball club in Nairobi. So amazingly fun, clean. Let me just start with that. Super sparkling clean, like shiny, like great, like wonderful. So if you're in Nairobi, definitely go and check that out. So fun and the kids totally love it. I apparently am a horrible pickleball player. But I'm just happy I hit the ball. Like I hit the ball, I'm like victory, win, touchdown, score, one point for me. Like every time I hit the ball, I get a point. Like, let's just be serious. My rules, hmm? so <laughs> everyone else is playing competitive. They're like swapping sides of the court and bouncing it, like serving this side and doing all this stuff you're supposed to do with pickleball. I'm literally just trying to get the racket on the ball. Hmm? Didn't happen that often, but when it did, I figured that's a victory for me, but I totally did enjoy it. And it was actually really, really fun. So we have been pickleballing quite a bit. If you're interested in seeing some of that, let me know and I can maybe put a video out on TSY After Party if you'd like to see what a pickleball club looks like in Nairobi. Just let me know in the comments. And we are joining the Frankly Circles. I feel like I have to get the Frankly Circles. Oh my gosh, you have to see it. It is so good. You're gonna freak out. So are you ready to freak out? Okay, shut your eyes. Are your eyes shut? They're not. Shut your eyes. Are you ready? Okay, open your eyes. Are angels singing or what? Isn't that great? It is so good. It is so good. Good, 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 good. I can't believe I waited this long to film it. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. So I filmed, this was the filming bit. I filmed this part just enough to teach you how to do the joining. After you've done this much, you just keep doing the same join until your blanket is the size you want it to be or you've used up all your circles. So, so excited about that. This pattern will be coming out in September. So keep an eye out for that. September is going to be here before you know it. I mean, let's be serious. Time flies. So joining that on to this glorious bit and then working on which edging I want to use for like turning it into a straight edge. So not, I'm not, I decided not that one. <laughs> I did a whole bunch. Where are they at? They're exactly where I stopped. Okay, hold on. 
So I did this version. So I did that version. I say no to it. I did that version. I say getting closer. And I did that version. I say getting closer. I have to fix this one one more time. Just changing the stitches in there a bit. And I think that is the edging we're going to go. So it'll be nice and straight along the side. Can you see that? So working on that, that is my my whip, what I get to be working on right now. And I have enough circles to join this piece with that piece. So now I also did some rearranging, some cleaning. I had some work to do and then decided it would be better if I just rearranged the entire house. You know how that is? Hmm? Like housework, you're like, oh, you know what I should do? No, I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna clean my room by like emptying my closet. It was that kind of day. But on a good note, now this was from a while ago. We did a little vote on if I should paint my sleigh bed or not. Much to the, what do you call it? Horror, that's what we call it, horror of my husband who was like gasping and couldn't even speak. He was like, I'm not saying spitting mad, but he was like, what are you doing? How could you have done that to that bed? Anyway, gist of it is, I have my favorite bed to crochet on and it was dark wood, like mahogany, technically. So I wanted it nice and white and great for crocheting. It's like so good, back support's so good, it's so solid, it's like the best bed. But I wanted it white so I could put it in here, so I can sit in here, watch TV, sit in my bed, have a great time looking at yarn, like life is perfect, right there, right there. So painted it a few months ago, put a few coats on it and really let it just sit so it wouldn't have a paint smell when I brought it in the house. So I was cleaning the yarnery and then I'm like, how can I clean the yarnery if I know that I still have to move that bed? I should like swap the beds out and then clean the yarnery. Do you know how you get those big, great ideas? Well, that was me, which led me to redoing Mir's room. I put his weight set in there. I put the yarnery bed in there. I moved everything around. So he has his computer, his weight set, and a brand like a really great bed all in his room. Got my big sleigh bed that's gorgeous and painted. I just love it. Got my sleigh bed in here. So it's a queen size now. I can like crochet sideways on that bed. It's so great. So have that all set up in here and then cleaned up. So that was a massive overhaul. Other news of the week, there has been some confusion about channel membership perks, which brings us to membership updates. Yes, I said it out loud. We are changing memberships again. Yes, we are. Because I feel like my emotions got the best of me. Now we have a lot of channel members, a lot of friends that have been friends for years and years and years and years and years and years, way before memberships happen. And then in my mind, I'm like, I really want the friends to be part of the Cal because I love the friends. And then I did, but then it gets confusing because there also has to be more perks for family members because of the financial contribution they make. There has to be more perks for that. So I've juggled it, I've did my best, but I think it is muddled up. I think I made a mess of it and I think it is time to do some cleaning up. So the memberships as they are now are just too confusing. I wanted it, to, I wanted everyone to do the crochet along. I thought it'd just be so fun to do together, but then it kind of just messes up the different levels of membership if everybody's doing the crochet along which was my intention and I did it on purpose. But then there's also sections of it, like the family members get a second live chat every month and it just gets kind of muddled up. Do you know what I mean? It gets confusing. And Donna, thank you so much for your questions. It really did make me think about it. I thought about it for the last few days and I think I have it. Well, I talked to Litz about it too. Litz came over and she's like, well, that's just what you have to do. And I'm like, ah. So I'm gonna, I'm changing it. It's already changed on the channel but I'm keeping the perks as they are for this month. So don't be panicking, being like, oh my gosh, everything's changed. No, it hasn't changed, but it will be changing in July. And I just want you to be aware of that in advance. So here are 
the levels of membership and just a little nutshell of the perks for them. Neighbors, neighbors get really cool emojis and a yarn ball beside their name, so it's much easier to see you in live chats, plus all the emojis, you can spell out all sorts of super cool words, right? So fun, the more members we have, the more emojis we get, so we almost have the whole alphabet, which is our goal. So thank you everybody who has joined the channel and helped us to get those letters. Then there is friends. Friends get a live chat first Monday of every month. And I'm also going to be adding a free pattern. Yes, I said it out loud. Starting July, friends also get a free pattern every month. Then there's friends with benefits. Friends with benefits, all the perks of the previous level, plus a discount in my store. Now, you can also tell me in the comments under this video, should we just delete friends with benefits or keep it because we get to say friends with benefits, right? Or is there a little perk we can add to it or do we just delete it all together? Let me know in the comments. I'm right on the fence. Delete it, keep it, delete it, keep it. You tell me. Family members are my heart. I love them so much. We're on WhatsApp together, so I really do feel that we are a family because we get to share the struggles together. If anybody's going through like a big life event, like some people are, love you, Rose. We all kind of cheer, you, cheer each other on and share that together. Plus, it's a no judgment zone, like absolutely no judgment. So whatever you're going through, we have welcoming arms and it can be easier to share things in a group with people that love crochet and love yarn that don't know you in real life. Although we kind of feel like we totally do, but they're, we're not like, we're not in your circle, right? We're not going to go tell your coworkers or we're not going to, we're not meddling in your life. We are just people out there supporting you. So that is a super good perk of family memberships. And also that group is gonna be getting the crochet along. So that is the big perk for the big level. And after that, we're creating a new level of membership, which is called Besties. And Besties get a 15 minute video chat every month. So that will be a super fun thing as well. So those are the levels of membership going forward. This month, we're staying the same. Next month, things are changing. And I'll also be putting out a video explaining that in more detail for people that are interested in more details about that. But you can also just click this link under this video, that join button right beside the subscribe. Or if you're already a member, you can click on see perks and that will show you all the perks that are available at your level. And you can also adjust your level of membership from there. So let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments under this video. I'm all eyes. Get it? I'm supposed to be ears, but I'm eyes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get when I have two cups of coffee. Don't start me about coffee. That's coming up too. Well, not this time, but maybe next time of coffee news. Incoming coffee news, but next time. And now it's time for Pet of the Month. Well, it's kind of pets of the month. Okay, check them out. That is Churchill and Chickpea. Churchill is my English Bulldog. Well, he's my husband's English Bulldog, but he is very loyal to me. So he's pretty much my dog, although in the beginning he was for my husband. So they have a great time. Church, she just tries to sit on her and she just tries to eat his leg. So they have a great time together. And I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there. Stay hooked.